Howdy folks, howdy, Sean Brock here with you. Want to talk to you, going to give this away and review it. G7th Heritage Capo Gold Plated. So here's the deal. If you're a subscriber, stay right where you're at. If you're not, please subscribe. But we're going to give this away in about uh, six weeks if we get at least 1,500 subscribers. Now this... Capo is well over $200 and everybody will have a chance to win it as long as you're not related to me and there's only one person who's related to me who's a subscriber so we don't much have to worry about that and there is a, a third party website that will draw the winner I won't have anything to do with that but if you subscribe share this video and comment and you can share either on doesn't matter if it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, any of that stuff. But if you do all that and you're a subscriber, you'll have a chance to win it. So let's talk a little bit about the G7 Heritage. So right away, you know you're dealing with a quality product. You know, like when you get an Apple iPhone or any Apple product, Steve Jobs was a big investor and believer in, uh, in high quality packaging. And G7 apparently is the same. So in, in the box, we've got a really nice leather pouch and got the G7th uh, stamp on it, the Capo people. And uh, of course, we've got a little information under that about the company and their mission and congratulating you on being the owner of such a fine, distinguished product. And we open up the pouch. It's got a nice little button there you just snap off. And man, this is a really nice pouch, I gotta tell you. Um, two compartments. So there's a front compartment there. And I'm assuming that you could put whatever you want in there. You could uh, obviously put picks in there. I'm also thinking there's some of the other G7th family capos that would fit in this pouch. Um, if you get some of the partial bar capos that they sell perhaps. And it comes with a polishing cloth right here that you can use to uh, get my fingerprints off of it. But this is the wide neck version, okay? Because I play one and three quarter necks and it's not going to hurt you uh, to have, even if you play one 11 sixteenths, it's not going to hurt you any to have the wide neck version. So this just ensures that uh, us one and three quarter inch neck folks are covered at a good distance gold plated and of course you got a nice uh not necessarily completely a bale style latch on the end of it but a very nice toggle just feels really good um and the bar itself has a radiusing technology built into it so you might notice like with me and my Elliot, it's a 16 radius. So when I get like a Gibson through here or something like that, uh, I tend to switch over and use something else. Uh, also because uh, my Elliot is a one and three quarters version with the 16 radius, it doesn't necessarily work out the best in the world for uh, one and 11 sixteenths next because the radius doesn't quite match up as well. So a lot of times I get out a different capo when we have a guitar we feature that has 111 sixteenths neck. You don't have that problem with this, with the radius, whatever they do. I don't know if they've got some springs under the rubber. It kind of feels like it. But I figured if you wanted a new heritage capo, you wouldn't want me to disassemble it to find out just to give you that piece of knowledge and cobble it back together. Have some kind of a Fred Sanford kind of thing going on maybe. But it's a substantial uh, rubber pad on there. The screw is also very, very nice. Um, I'm not saying it's better than Elliot. Uh, I'm just saying it's different. It's a little larger. Uh, it turns very, very easily. And it doesn't take a lot to tighten it down. You know, it's not like one of those old cheap capos where you gotta go, you know, and it just feels kind of like you're turning a I don't know, but there's 
you know, there's there's some capos that, and, and we've had them, we've all had them, that they're just horrible to try to tighten down. These are very, very uh, high action screws. And like I say, a little larger. Um, the neck pad on these is rubber. Uh, these, it's nice. I like the saddle on these and I've tested it out. Uh, it, you know, it'll, it has a little bit of play to it so it can center up on the neck. And one real big feature of these is on the sides, going around the inside of the yoke is just small strips of rubber. So if you're somebody that stores your capo up behind the nut, this will keep you from damaging the finish uh, on the ears of the headstock. And I've owned several guitars that other makers, other capo makers uh, products were used on them and they ended up getting damaged, not, not necessarily from me, but from, you know, before I had them of people storing their capos up behind the nut. Gold plated finish, as I mentioned, as you can see, you can have that nice polishing cloth to clean her up with. And like I said, we're gonna give this away. And at least 1,500 subscribers, uh, six weeks, approximately June 1st. Let's say that, approximately June 1st. And you must like, comment and share this video and not be related to me so there's only one person that's that's out but if you do that on on or about june 1st we will go ahead and draw this and this is not the first thing we're going to give away i've got an idea of something that we're going to do about july 1st as well and if you're already subscribed, then you don't have to worry about it, right? So just subscribe, like, share, comment, and this thing could be yours. And it does not matter where you live in the world. I'll ship it to you. Uh, this is not open to just someone in the United States because I know we got a lot of people that watch us from Europe and Asia, uh, Canada, and just all, all over the world, New Zealand, Australia. So... Don't let that hold you back. If you're international, don't worry about it. I will ship it to you. The shipping is free. You know, it's it, it's not gonna cost you anything. You just have to like, subscribe, share, and comment. So let's take this thing in, put her on the uh, Edmunds D41, and see what she, see what she holds. Mm -hmm.